Today we're going to talk about how to fade acne scarring. Acne is always a big topic and acne is always problematic, especially for those of us who suffer from acne. So acne, when you have it, you know, whatever you want to call it, a zit, a breakout, pimples, blackheads, any of these eruptions that happen on our skin. We know what acne is and as we get older, usually in your mid-20s, late 20s, acne starts to control itself in the sense that you don't make as much oil gland, you don't have as much oil or the oil glands are calming down and so your acne slows down. You may not get breakouts but for a lot of us the scars are still there. So what do we do about that, the scars from acne? Why do, do you get acne scars? This is one of the big things that we want to talk about first. So the reasons for the scarring. A lot of the times the reason for the scarring is when you're picking a zit, when you're popping it, when you're picking it, you're actually damaging the collagen. You're actually causing a wound. You're actually causing trauma and the skin doesn't forget. A lot of times the skin is not making enough collagen or it's making too much collagen. So when it's not making a lot of collagen, you'll see a pit, you'll see a deficit in the skin. So that's one thing. When you see too much collagen, you'll see it, the skin is raised, that scar tends to be raised, and that's called a keloid. So it's almost an overproduction of collagen. So the amount of collagen in the skin is important when you have acne scars. Also, the color of the skin, part of the wounding that happens with the acne, you'll start to see a pigmentation or a melanin change. So these are the reasons why you get the acne scarring, usually by picking, usually by popping or cutting into your acne. And I know it's tempting and I know we all do it. So what do we do when we're older and we have less acne, but the scars are still there? few things that you want to do. You really want to start exfoliating your skin a lot. Rapid exfoliation, utilizing retinols are, is very good. Alpha and beta hydroxy acids are very good because as the skin exfoliates, what's going to happen is a lot of the scarring happens deeper down. That's why it remains. You're going to start to minimize the visibility of the scarring by getting those cells to shed quicker. And then as the new skin comes to the surface, it's much more refined. It has a better color. It has a better texture. It has a better balance of collagen. Therefore, that scarring is minimized, okay, because of the retinol. So you don't see it as much. Another element, and so this is why we, we have our retiniacin. It's a retinol. It's a niacinamide. It's going to help with that acne uh, shedding, the cells. But also the niacinamide is good because it works on the pigmentation, which is the brightening component. It. Two key things to combat acne scarring. We also have a product called the Snail Peptide Serum. The Snail Peptide Serum is actually based in snail filtrate or snail mucilage. So in, es in essence, when you see a sa snail and they leave that slime behind, that slime is very therapeutic. It is loaded with enzymes and peptides and what these actually do is they digest redundant cells. Very important if you have the raised bumps, the raised scars, the keloids, you want to digest those cells, you want to dissolve, you want to even out and smooth out the skin. Snail peptide is amazing for that. And finally, we have uh, the stem genesis. Now the stem genesis intensive serum is based on apple stem cells, plant stem cells. This is really important as a concept to understand that a stem cell is a de-differentiated cell. It's a totipotent cell, which means what? It means that it is like a blank slate. It will then become what your skin needs it to be. So skin requires stem cells to heal without scarring. Take that in, just, just absorb that. You need stem cells for your skin to heal without scarring. So these are ways that you can help your scarring, help your acne. Because the acne scarring tends to be a bit deep, especially with a pit mark, changes will occur. They are changing quickly, but when you're looking at them, it looks slow. So three weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, that is a good period of time 
to start to see the physical changes in your skin, start to see that healing begin and start to see that refinement. The reality is you may not be able to get rid of the scarring 100%, but you can reduce it by over 50%. You can smooth that skin out and you can brighten it up. I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed our uh, discussion today on acne scarring and what we can do about it. I look forward to your comments. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, and we'll talk to you again soon.